let's make a house. This toddler has been waiting years for routine urinary tract surgery. And we have no timeline, no options, nothing. It's, it's, it's really, really frustrating. In Quebec, an elderly patient died after not being seen for 16 hours. This ER doctor who treated him says if he'd been seen more quickly, he'd still be alive, that's for sure. Just some of the stories from Canada's health care system in the last few weeks alone. The provinces are responsible for providing health care, but they partially rely on federal dollars to do it. A fight over how much Ottawa should pay continues to build. One that has gotten so heated, Canada's premiers launched an advertising campaign about it. But we need the federal government to restore funding now to keep our systems strong. The provinces want Ottawa to increase its share of health care costs from 22 percent up to 35. But they don't believe the federal government is interested in a real conversation about it, says BC's health minister in an interview on Rosemary Barton Live. The federal government has not been willing to do the work to come to the table and to sit down prime ministers and premier and talk about, I think, one of the central issues facing the country. And so that's disappointing. Ottawa promised to boost the amount of money it gave once the pandemic was over. It comes through the Canada Health Transfer, the single largest chunk of money from the federal government to the provinces. They're expected to receive a total of $45 billion this year. This summer, Ottawa injected an extra $2 billion. We were going to focus next week on the results that we want jointly to achieve. Ottawa says what the provinces do with money it sends them needs to be tied to tangible and concrete improvements to Canada's health care system. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.